An Arctic blast brings snow and ice to the UK with schools, of schools closed in Scotland and the northwest of England. Now here, the Met Office has issued yellow weather warnings for snow and ice all over the UK as temperatures fell below freezing overnight. It's because of a cold spell fueled by wintry Arctic air, which is set to continue through today and in fact this week. Well, travel disruption is likely, especially in the northwest of England and in Scotland, more than 100 schools have been closed. Let's get the latest from Rowan Bridge, our correspondent who's in Chorley in Lancashire. How's it there, Rowan? Ben, the uh, Met Office is saying we are gripped by an Arctic plunge at the moment and you can see the consequences of that around me here in Lancashire. In fact, much of the northwest of England woke up to similar scenes this morning. And it may well look picturesque, but it's brought its fair share of disruption in its wake as well. Across Merseyside, more than 20 schools have been closed this morning. There have been a handful of closures here in Lancashire as well, with others opening later in the day than normal. That's provided an unexpected snow day for some school children who didn't expect a day off, but more of a headache for their parents who've had to deal with the disruption. That disruption has also spread to the roads as well. Uh, on the M61 motorway, which runs between Greater Manchester and up through Lancashire, it was down to two lanes in places for parts of this morning, and police have warned of dangerous driving conditions in some places. As you were saying, the Met Office has a yellow weather warning in place for snow and ice that covers Scotland, uh, Northern Ireland, parts of Northern Wales as well for uh, the rest of today. Uh, Scotland is in fact expected to see some of the worst of the weather. Up to 10 centimetres of snow may fall on higher ground there. There have also been significant school closures across Scotland. In Shetland, all of the schools there have been shut. There are more than 50 closures across the Highlands and Aberdeenshire has also been affected as well. On the roads in Scotland, Transport Scotland say they've had gritters out overnight to try and minimise the levels of disruption. But it's worth noting that the temperatures so far this week have been around five or six degrees below what we would normally expect for this time of year. But looking ahead, it's going to get even colder. There is expected to be a widespread frost tomorrow with temperatures widely minus five degrees centigrade and could go as low as minus 10 degrees centigrade in some places. So definitely going to be a cold one for the next few days. OK, try and uh, get somewhere a bit warmer. Rowan, thank you very much indeed. And uh, more than 100 schools were closed today in significant travel disruption as Britain shivered in the big freeze. It's all because an Arctic blast has brought snow and ice to the UK and there's more to come. The Met Office has issued a yellow warning for snow and ice for all of Scotland, the northwest of England and North Wales. There's also a yellow ice warning for Northern Ireland. Alex will join us in just a moment um, to talk about just how cold it could get. But first, here's Chloe Keady on the cold snap. Taking a drive through North Yorkshire this morning may have looked pretty, but it was perilous too. As a coach made its way cautiously along this country lane, in the snow-covered fields either side, sheep watched on. Even on main roads and motorways, drivers were urged to take care. This articulated lorry jackknifed after skidding off the M57 near Liverpool. Just outside Belfast, it took a tractor to pull this car out of the ditch it had slid into, as commuters and their tyres struggled to cope with the icy conditions. And just when Northern Ireland needs its gritters most, their operators are due to go on strike. Given that we also have rain, sleet and snow showers, you know, that is just going to add to the extra um, difficulties. So, uh, you know, I would be quite concerned if we, if we are unable to deliver any sort of gritting, you know, I would say, that, say to people, you know, be very careful on the road network. On the Shetland Islands, it was going to take more than a bit of snow to put this cyclist off, as children, making the most of a second day off school, went for a slightly more fun-looking option. I've been enjoying my sledging. The schools have been off and I've been really missing school. No doubt they're feeling the same right across the north and northeast of Scotland, where 120 schools have closed. Here in Aberdeen, they're used to the cold, but that doesn't make it any easier for people to keep themselves warm. 
it was blizzardous conditions and there were people out, obviously coming here to get a, a food parcel. And you genuinely know they're in need when they're coming and the door's not even open. Here in Dumfries, they've already had a dusting of snow, but temperatures are forecast to keep on dropping. In fact, in some parts of the UK, it's thought they could go as low as minus 15 overnight. And so with more snow and rain in the forecast, it's going to get colder and icier before any of us start to feel warmer again. Well, if temperatures do hit minus 15 in the north of Scotland tonight, that would make it the coldest January night in 14 years. Where we are here in Dumfries, it's actually just been raining. And I think that is one of the sort of major concerns now, that with more rain and sleet, as well as snow on the way, that will make roads and pavements icier, slippier, and potentially uh, more dangerous. So the advice tomorrow remains, uh, particularly for Scotland and the north of England, uh, stay inside, avoid travel if you can. This isn't over yet. OK, Chloe, thanks very much for that and do stay safe. Well, Alex has joined us in the studio and Chloe was reiterating there it could get uh, as low as minus 15. Absolutely. How likely is that? I mean, it is likely that we could get down to minus 15. It will be somewhere probably in Scotland. Last night in Oxfordshire, we got down to minus 8.3. So very cold. And as I say, even colder tonight. So the warnings really have been warranted and remain in place over the next couple of days. So right now until midnight, we have an ice warning in place across uh, much of Northern Ireland and a separate snow and ice warning for Scotland, uh, Northwest England and also parts of North Wales. In this warning, we could see a further five to 10 centimetres in places, but for Northern Scotland, we could see as much as 20 centimetres. Let's now move to, uh, move to Wednesday, where we have three warnings which are going to start at midnight. Again, Scotland is expected to see the most snowfall, 5 to 10 centimetres on lower ground. Again, a further 20 centimetres over high ground. Southern Scotland has an ice warning in place and northern parts of England and Wales have a snow and ice warning in place as well. The snow here is expected to be much lighter. The biggest impact will be widespread icy surfaces. If you look at the snow risk chart, you can see it matches the warning areas, uh, but there's also this area of winter weather to the far south there. It's likely to bring a dusting of snow to high ground in the West Country overnight and possibly some across the southeast tomorrow around mid-morning. At the moment, there are no warnings in place for this, but if that changes, of course, we will update you a bit later.